Hello everyone, uh, I'd like to introduce you to my first Arduino project. I'm using the Arduino with its uh, analog uh, reading and pulse width modulation writing capabilities along with uh, some potentiometers to run an RBG LED. And in case you don't know, an RBG LED has three elements in it. Each element runs at one watt, and there's a red, a blue, and a green. So you can mix in colors that you want. And I'm using the Arduino to and the potentiometers to mix the colors manually. So let me give you a demonstration of operation, and then I'll show you the circuitry. So first, I'm going to open up a little red. Get some red going there. And you notice, if I go too far, uh, it'll start over. See? Keep going. And I'll explain that a little later. It has to do with the uh, resolution of the analog input and the pulse width modulation output. Here's a little blue. I'll run them up to full intensity for you just so you can see each one individually. Pretty cool. And then a couple of colors that I like is you start with a little green here. Add in, let me turn the slide off. Add in some red. You start getting this real pretty yellow, orangey color. Add in more red. And you get a real vibrant sunset orange. Um, that I think would look really good uh, in some supplemental lighting. I'm using the Arduino uh, to kind of practice because I want to eventually turn this Arduino into a reef aquarium controller. Reef aquariums are, are pretty complex so it makes sense to have so, a little smart gadget like this. And then I want to show you one more color. Uh, this uh, kind of a purpley pink color is a pretty popular uh, lighting option for reef aquariums they call them Fiji purples and you can make a nice real nice Fiji purple with a little red and blue kind of a pinky purple there a red there a little more blue that's about right I think I don't know how well the colors are showing up on the camera but that's what you're getting Real pretty here. All right, turn this light back on, and I'll show you how the circuitry is set up. Each potentiometer has uh, a a high five volt side and a low ground side, and then in the middle there's a a read wire which can read uh, any voltage uh, between zero and five, depending on you know where how you uh, turn the little wiper in the potentiometer and this these wires go to the analog inside of the Arduino and uh, runs through the processor which runs the the programming that I've written and basically it will read some percentage between 0 and 5 uh, from the potentiometers to the Arduino. The Arduino will take that percentage get some cross wire in here. The Arduino will take that percentage and write it in terms of uh, pulse width modulation duty cycle. Now, I don't know if duty cycle is the right word there but that's what I'm going to use and each one of these controls the, the red, the blue, and the green. So we'll follow this red one out here and we see that it first goes to a couple of little uh, current limiting resistors. 
which are fed in to the base side or the base leg of a 2N 2222 uh, transistor. And that's it for the, the control side of the lighting project. Now the power side is above the transistor here. Uh, we have the, the um, collector side of the transistor uh, wired up to some more current limiting resistors which are also wired up to the LED. The, the LED itself has a main power wire, this white wire, and three ground wires for control. So we come through the transistor, through the current limiting resistors, through the LED, and back to power. And power, for in my case, is given just by wall power. This is a, a tra wall transformer from Radio Shack, and it can go for I think from six to fifteen volts at uh, two and a half amps maximum capability. I've got it running at six volts um, because I was worried about burning up my uh, little resistors here. And basically what this setup does is it uses the transistor like a relay to switch a, a high current uh, a, a high current using a low current. So basically I'm switching 350 milliamps through the LED with only about 3 milliamps from the Arduino, which is very important because the Arduino can only handle I think about 50 milliamps uh, in one channel and, and not much more than that total. Alright, so there's the circuitry. Here is the programming. It's not too bad. Uh, I'm kind of lucky I got to take a programming class this summer as part of my engineering curriculum and so programming is, is still fairly recent on my on my brain. And we first we start off with with three statements here. Uh, these are three variables: red control, red sense, and red val. Uh, the int uh, in front of each one just just declares that each variable is an integer. And we see that each that red control is equal to four, red sense is equal to zero, and red val is equal to zero. Now, red control and red sense are going to be used as pin numbers and I'll, I'll give you a little preview here see we have red val equal analog read red sense and analog write uh, red control comma red val and so red sense and red control are going to be pin numbers and red val is, init is just initialized at zero and so we've, we've got the same thing for blue control uh, or blue and green except the pin numbers are different but you notice that the initialization is the same equal to zero. So we go through our setup and we tell uh, the Arduino that red control, blue control, and green control are all going to be outputs. And we're going to start our loop, and we say red val equal analog read red sense. And what that says is says um, assign a value of red sense to red val. And we look up here and we see that red sense is equal to zero, which means pin zero. And that that just it just has to do with um, the, this, the way the syntax is set up. Analog read, you know, I could just say analog read zero and it would read pin zero. We look over here and find pin zero and there it is, analog in. The orange wire goes to the red uh, potentiometer. And then you got one and two for analog read also. So see one and two. Okay, 
So red val was equal to zero. Now it's equal to red cents. Now what is red cents? Red cents is a percentage between zero and one hundred percent. Now it uses the analog write function to write red val, which we've just discovered, remember, is the percentage. Uh, it writes red val to red control. And red control is pin number four. And we look on here on an Arduino, we see that pin number four is a pulse width modulation pin that goes to the transistor controlling the red element of the LED. And so, what it does is it, it, it does the same thing from blue and green. And what it does is it loops through these, these three blocks of code and constantly uh, decides what, what is red val at the moment. And it assigns that value to red cents. No, no, no. Sorry, I got that, I got that mixed up. It constantly reads what is red cents and it writes that value to red val. And then it takes that value, that written value to red val, and writes it to red control. And red control is your pulse width modulation output. Uh, you know, basically uh, dictating the brightness of each uh, LED element. Now there's another kind of neat little uh, program that I wrote that I wanted to show you and you might want to not watch it if you have epilepsy so I'm going to upload it upload it to the I.O. board we should see some lights going here I'm going to turn this fluorescent light off okay now it's already on and it's going really fast so let me let me slow it down First, we'll slow the green down. Oops, my little power wire came out. Hang on, let me make this little fix real quick. Okay, that should work. I'll slow the green down. Okay, now I'm going to slow the blue down. And I'm doing this again with these potentiometers. Okay, so we got the blue and the gr green blinking pretty good. And I'm going to slow the red down. And you got a pretty bad disco effect. Cool, huh? And like I said, I've got these, the, the, the pulse width, uh, I guess these aren't really pulse width, but they're, they're delays. They're, they turn, it turns the LED on, it delays it, it turns it off, it delays it, and the, the amount of delay is dictated by these uh, potentiometers. Now, if I get it slow enough, I'm going to slow down the green here. If I get it going slow enough, I've, I've given it a, um, a threshold of 100 milliseconds. If it goes past 100 milliseconds, it'll just turn off. So now, I see it turned off. And I'm going to keep slowing down the blue. Now it's just the red. Slow down the red. And it's off. And that's it. Thanks for watching.